Yeah, well, no, that's a good question. My name is Cali. I'm from California. I'm here to visit the most beautiful Apple city in the world. It always looks pretty. You like so that? you're a big fan of New York? I love New York. It's nothing <laughs> like New York. 24 hours never sleep. Whoever decorate this did a fascinated job. This is the best place 24-7 celebrate New Year's all year round. So did you move here from California? Actually, yeah, well, you might as well say, yeah, no, I got a little condominium, but I'm usually here in the summertime, and I go back there in the wintertime because when it gets snows, it's like the, you know, it's, it's That's like why I don't live here. It's like Hurricane Sandy all over again, <laughs> never again, right? All right. Are you paying attention to the 2020 election? Uh, a little, a little bit, for sure, a little bit. So tell me, who should I vote for? Because sometimes when you vote somebody, they say they don't do, they say what they do, but they don't do it just to get in the office. So we don't know who to vote for nowadays, you know. So do, do you have anybody you like? Who I like? Uh, I don't know who's running. Why well, you got me on that one? Uh, so, so I gotta keep up on that. No, no, that's good. Who's running? Because you, 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 you're doing a good job yeah. here as an American of making this right. this whole thing less relevant to your life, right? I got you. Is Trump running? I believe he's running for re-election, so uh, whether we like it or not. So who's running against him? Well, we've got a lot of people in, in primaries and other parties who are vying for the opportunity now. There's right. over 20 Democrats, there's right. there's about a dozen Libertarians, there's a handful okay. of Greens and, right. and Independents. But, but but before we get into who, I want to see if, see, if, see if maybe I can help just figure out something bigger picture first. Okay. Does America need a president? We need a leader. We need a commander in chief. We need somebody who we can trust and we, who we can follow. Well, why, why do Americans? I thought we were free. We need to follow somebody. Well, we need to follow somebody because we got to. Well, we, we can't do it by ourselves. Somebody got to help us to put us in order because sometimes when one man do a bad thing, the other guy do a good thing. It'd be a little confusing. So we need somebody strong to help us because we can't do it by ourselves. We all need help. Like a job, you can't do it by yourself. You need help to get that job. Did, did, did the president do that? Did, well, does the president create jobs other than government jobs when they, when they hire people for the executive branch? I think the governor do a better job than the president do. Huh. Yeah. So it sounds like we don't really need a president if we if we have governors at each state. Yeah. Well, we need a governor at each state to keep the state controlling because the president, he's like a puppet. We need a governor, a strong to keep the whole state in hold like a circle. When he keeps that circle together, that's all that matters as a team because you always stick together by the weather. Well, what you know how America became America, right? Yeah. Um, we fought a war. Well, and we yeah, said we, we said because right. people said you need a king right. for all the reasons you just said, right? right? You need a king to do all these things for you that you can't do for yourself. Exactly. But we said right. we don't we don't want a king. We want to be free. We want to be independent of that, right? Exactly. Yes. Right. So shouldn't every individual have the right to do? We shouldn't force people to be a part of a group, should we? Like you should have the option well, to opt out if you want, right? Yeah. Well, give it a try. Give it a shot. If that don't work, then do it. Do do it option number one or number two it's a good idea well would america be better off if government was under more localized control rather than centralized control like if there are more decisions made in your community rather than by corrupt politicians in washington dc yeah I, yeah you know what yes it should be a change i think so yeah i think that'd be a good uh, great idea okay so if you had an option in 2020 right. you could vote for a republican asshole or a democrat asshole or you could vote to get rid of the federal government in a peaceful, orderly manner that left us with 50 independent states and push that power down locally that way. Would you do that? No, I will vote for the right man or woman to get in the White House. I wanted Hillary Clinton to be a president. She would make a better president than Trump. Even Trump's got money, right. but Hillary, she's a woman. I want to see a woman in the White House. I want to see Hillary win. I want Trump gone. I want Hillary to win. I want to see a woman in the White House. A woman, I want to see if she got the might and strength like a man do. Boy, so you don't like Trump being president right now? I'm so, sorry. So I don't like the way he building that border. Well, yeah, I don't like that. He's taking family from the kids. The family wants to come over here and work. I don't like the way he's doing that. And you don't have a choice, right? You didn't vote for Trump, but he's your president anyway, right? Isn't there something wrong with that? 
Me and my kids, we vote for Hillary. We didn't vote for Trump. You know who got him in there? The Russians got him in there. The so, money. But, but if Hillary won, wouldn't all the Trump supporters feel the same way? Like, why are you forcing Hillary on us? You don't have a right to force Hillary on us any more than they have a right to force Trump on you. Well, I'll be honest, if Hillary would have won, I think she would have had the strength. The, the more supporters, she got to beat. Americans didn't do a good job when she got in there. They wasn't really, they was lunching. They wasn't really paying attention on Hillary when she, when, when she was running against Trump. Hillary was going to win, but politics is dirty. The money got right. him in there. Oh, the and money. Hillary's not dirty? Hillary's not, well, they say things about Hillary. You know why they said that? That email thing? Because she's a woman. Oh, but it's all the, it's all the money. You know she got to where she is the same right. way as anybody well, else does. All, I know, we all not perfect. We all make mistakes. But you know why I want Hillary to win? Bill Clinton was president, her husband. Okay. I want to see, for the history, I want to see a woman run Just and win. It would after, be cool. That it would have been. It would have uh, been amazing. Rather than rather than looking at principles, rather than looking at what's the best policy, you is it just for the fun of it to have a woman in the White House? It you would have been okay. Different. I want to see that. I want to see if a woman got strong <laughs> and strength like a man do. Okay, so do you have a right as an American to choose a leader for someone else and have that person force on other people? Yes. You think that's okay? Do you think that's a good thing that you can force your will on other people? It sounds kind of un-American. Well, sounds kind of anti-freedom. Yeah, well, you know, that's a good question. You know, it's in a year and it's like a scale. Yeah, no, so <laughs> it's like a flip-flop. When you get on a seesaw, you go up and down, up and down, you never stop. It's like a scale, you know? It's, I don't know yet. It's like when you weigh this 10 carat, which is heavy, this or brick? It's like, or rocks, it's like a scale. I don't know. Be honest, I don't know, but, if Hillary would have won, it would have been different, brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would have been oh, yeah, like right. this. We living in the hell in the cell right now. If Hillary would have won, it would have been like angels uh, all over this world. I don't we know, man. They, they agree on a lot of stuff. This is why Republicans and Democrats, they're all pro-bankers. They're all pro-corporations. They're all pro-war. Right. They're all pro-police state. They're all pro-surveillance state. See, and I think if, if we got to the point where we just reject this idea right. that we can force our ideas on other Americans, we'd be a lot better off as a country. You see us working in that direction, hopefully? Well, yeah. Well, you know, it's strange because some states is struggling. And when I was in military, I was in Iraq. I seen kids walking around with no shoes on their feet. I was a SEAL for a long time, for 20 years. I see kids walking around with no shoes on their feet, walking around with AK-47s, protecting their families. They didn't have no prisons when I went. When I went over there, Reagan was president. He's resting in peace right now. Reagan was president. I had to get rid of all my tattoos. Everything changed now. You can go, you can go in the military with tattoos now, but when I went in the military, when I went over there, I was a little nervous. We had to get shot three times because we don't catch nothing. But when I went over there in a different world, everything was different. We went over there to protect because we didn't go over there to anybody that came over and did, to, did something to us. And you know what? The World Trade Center building still would have been there. It wouldn't have been knocked down if George Bush, president, would have stopped it. He knew what was going on. Come on. They so, had to wake the man up. He knew they was going. He knew 747 was going to knock that building down. He, George W. He knew that. He could have stopped that. That's a crazy coincidence, brother, because I was in Fallujah in 2004 with the Marines. Wow. And. Really? Because because Hillary was Hillary supported the war in Iraq. She supported the invasion. She, she supported the occupation. I can't stand for that, man. And I, I get the appeal. I get the appeal. But I think if you reject this idea that we need leaders to oh, to, to be forced on us at all, that that all of these bullshit wars right. go away. The right. military industrial complex right. pull on DC goes away. All right, let me ask you a question. Do you think a woman? can be the president of the White House like a man can. Do you think a woman can do that? Are we ready for a woman president in America? Are we? I Are think, I think women, of, I think ready? the women of America what should be think? proud of the fact that okay. none of them have stooped so low right. and done the evil things yet necessary to be president. I think if we end this whole thing before we ever have a woman president, it will prove that they are the superior gender. Well, yeah, you're right. Well, woman, she have the babies and we make it. So 
they carry babies. They they spoke. They some countries they stay home and cook. They don't want their woman to work. They want they want their woman to be home with the kids. That's when I went over Iraq. See, our laws is different now. You got women driving taxi cabs. You got women working. You got women more independent now. Before when I went over there it was different. They didn't have no food stamps over there like over here. It was a different world I was in. So. I've been there and done that, so I know how it is. As I tell my kids, when you travel all over the countries, you see something different. You don't see nothing the same, you know? All right, brother, it's been a lot of fun. I want to give you the last word. Any last thoughts on, on anything we talked about or your experience, anything you learned from your time in the military? What I learned was, hell, some people come back alive, some people come back dead. So God is good all the time. You got to pray to God every day when you're in there because you don't know how you're going to come back with no leg and no arm. Some, some people come back handicapped. They get, they step on a landmine and get blown up and they lose their whole leg. They get a good pension every month, but money ain't everything because you gotta take pain medicine the rest of your life. It's not even worth it. And you get a bionic leg. It's not even worth it. You know, that's why God is, you gotta pray every, I prayed every day when I was in there. So God protect me, make sure nothing ain't happen to me. That's why God is good all the time. We gotta have faith. We, we don't have faith in them. You gotta, you're gonna, you're gonna be weak, but you gotta be strong. Amen, brother. Pray, pray for peace, but work for it, too. I'll try. Thank you, brother. Adam versus the Man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam versus the Man.